Hi everybody, it's Sarah Cray with Let's Make Art and this coming week we are going to be doing a happy little rabbit. So tune in with us on Tuesday, 7.15 Central Standard Time. But for now, here is a preview. So for my bunny, I'm starting with mixing my colors here. I wanna make sure that my colors are really dark to begin with. They're really dark on the outer edge of the ear and as they go in towards the center, they lighten up. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can lay down water first and then do a darker edge or you can lay down your darker color first and then add water to it to spread it out. Now I usually do a mixture of both of these techniques while I'm painting, so there's no one perfect way to do it. Now really what we're gonna go in and we're just gonna start kind of mixing that wash, just using a light wash to fill in the forehead. And then I'm gonna go to the other side of the ear. I wanna make sure it's nice and dark and then just use that water to kind of spread it out and lighten it out as I go towards the middle. Now you can add layers too, so if the first wash you lay down is just not dark enough, you're welcome to go back and add a little bit of a darker wash on top of that. Now towards the pink center of the ear, it's a really soft wash, like a, almost like a light gray or a light brown fur. And for the center of my ears, I'm starting off by mixing crimson and a little bit of my brown mixture to do that center of the ear because I don't want it too red and bright. I still want to kind of have it be natural and match it with the rest of the bunny. Now I already have my cheeks and my nose definition laid out on my ears, so I'm kind of just following those lines that I already made. I'm starting by kind of putting dark marks around those lines and then just using water to spread it out. And when I do that, I have a natural value change from dark to medium to light. Now here I'm adding the black around the eye. I don't want to do the center of my eye just yet. Uh, because that's something that we want to save for last to make sure everything is completely dry and that way uh, we don't have any bleeding around our eyes. We want to make sure our eyes are nice and pointy. I mean sharp. Our eyes are nice and sharp. Now here I'm going in, I'm just kind of adding a little bit another layer here. I want to add some depth to the cheeks of my bunny and when you're doing fur you basically want to do dashes and you want to start off dark at the top and then you're going to kind of do um, shading dashes underneath and really what um, fur texture is is just how the light reflects that fur or plays off of that fur so we're going to do a couple layers of that to do fur textures they're basically just like um, dashes that you do kind of across um, the plane to show that um, there's shadow there, that there's another layer on top. And so for the white part of our bunny, we're doing that same thing where we just kind of do shadows, we take some water, we wash it out, and I'm going to go in and add some more depth to the fur that's right underneath the chin of the bunny. Now that area is going to be more shadowed than another area because it's underneath the mouth, so it gets the least amount of light here because it's farther away from us. The nose and the mouth are close to us because they're sticking out, but the chest is farther away from us so it gets a darker color than the nose or um, than the forehead. Now this is where you can kind of go in, add a couple more layers, start blending some things together. To blend, you just kind of take a clean brush and kind of smear, kind of smear some colors together if um, they're looking to just disjoint it. For the eyes, I want to start off with adding just pure water and then I drop in the black color on top of that. If you do it that way, you get the darkest black from the watercolor as opposed to just using the straight black watercolor. So I'm, sp I'm spreading the rest of the black around my eye except for that white highlight that's on the top. And then I'm adding a little bit more depth to um, my lips, around the nose, and a little bit on the ear. When you add darker layers, that's just going to give us a little bit more um, depth and form, and it gives us a greater change from dark to light. Now for my whiskers, I'm just taking my liner brush and kind of um, adding some along the cheeks. There's kind of some coming out the top of the eye and the bottom almost as if long eyelashes. And you can switch your paper around if that's easier for you. And then I'm gonna take my bleed proof white and just start doing some detail fur. There's a couple white whiskers on the bottom and then I'm doing a little glare at the very bottom of the eye and then a little bit of fur near the center of my ear. And then I'm gonna take my brush and kind of just finish off some detail work. Um, blend some colors a little bit more, add a little bit texture, and that's it. Should I do it again? I think that's good.